Most of the time, the easiest way to identify whether someone is using ChatGPT to write their articles, essay, or posts is to know how much EM dashes are there in their content. If you just view some posts in LinkedIn, it is actually pretty obvious when someone writes it using ChatGPT with all the different EM dashes just in a short paragraph. The reason is because EM dashes are not easy to type. It requires a few combination keys to type it. Let's say in Windows, you need to have this sort of um, key presses and it's really inconvenient to keep using it in text rather than just using a comma or just normal dashes. I, I would say it's fine to write in in creative posts like an article or even a book but let's say if you have an important essay or report to uh, hand in and it's an assignment you don't want to be a suspect of using AI to write them so I would say just use it minimally and not that much but if you want to compare completely avoid it just to be safe. Here is how you can do it in three ways. So here we have a short article that is generated by ChatGPT about the benefits of eating banana. And as you can already see, there are already three EM dashes in just a short paragraph. And the first method is you can easily just ask it not to output any EM dashes, but I know sometimes it doesn't work. The problem you should use here is just this. Never use the EM dash symbol. Replace all EM dashes with commas and do not attempt to indicate pauses and flashes with any symbols other than commas and full stops. EM dashes should never appear in your output for any reason. So yeah, just copy and paste this. All of the prompts will be found in either the link in the description or in the comments. So yeah, just copy your, your, your same essay and then copy the same prompt as previously and then just paste in this so it needs to be very forceful we need to make sure that ChatGPT understands what we want as you can already see immediately there are already no em dashes in my short paragraphs so next method if the first one didn't work is to just give it more examples so let's say here yeah here is the original one and then down there you just put for example incorrect you do this and then correct is this you just put an example so chat to be understand and then you just put whatever content you want and then just click upload and it will do what it needs to do as you can see right now we don't have any em dashes and if you want to completely remove all the em dashes in your future chat you do not want em dashes in any of your content even though if you put new chat so that is it simpler and you do not need to keep copy pasting the same prompt so what you need to do now is just go to your profile icon at the top right hand corner here click on it and go to customize chat gpt once you click customize chat gpt most importantly is here what traits should chat gpt have then you just have to copy and paste in that prompt that i gave you link down in the description so yes just copy and paste it and that's it just save it and from then on the new chats that you created will all follow that rule so let's say i want to copy and paste the same exact prompt that we did just now and just let's test it out to see whether it uses any em dashes as you can see no em dashes found and only normal dashes so this is how you force it to remove em dashes from your essays so yeah as you can see other prompts does not result in any em dashes which is we are successful so yeah thank you very much for watching tell me whether my method works or if i need to update my methods in the future maybe so if you want to learn more practical ways to use ai to boost your productivity or save time make sure to give my channel a subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.